In a previous video, I think it was for my Ars Magica only finale, I asked if you guys wanted me to play anything, and somebody, I'll put the name in the video whenever I edit it, asked me to play. Why is this message popping up? Get away. Go away. I'm hitting one. Clear message. Come on. Come on. Thank you. All right. So somebody asked me to play um, this game, which is called In Verbis Vert Vert Vertus, I think. So it's a magic game. You are this guy that casts spells, but you don't cast spells by using your hot bar. You use it by just actually saying the spell. So you have to use your microphone. And I figured since I got a good microphone, why not give it a shot? Even though I said I wouldn't, I'm going to try to not yell as much as I can because I read in the description of the um, Steam reviews that sometimes it doesn't really recognize your voice whenever you're trying to cast spells and sometimes you need to cast a spell at a certain time and it'll, you'll mess up or things like that and it'll get you frustrated. So I said I wouldn't. That and because I'm not very good at puzzle games, but Steam basically gave me no option because it went on sale for like 60% off so I only paid 7 bucks for it. So if you do want to try this game, now would be the time to do it. So I figured why not, it'll be something a little bit different on the side while I'm doing the Skyblock Survival. And because I do want to play games that you guys want me to play as well, so why not? I'll start off with this one. So let's go ahead, new game, enough talking, uh, hold on, do you want to activate additional hints? Um, let's try it at first, okay, can I change it? At any time, alright, so let's, let's start off with no additional hints. That way it, it'll, uh... It'd be a little bit more challenging. So let's see what the game throws us into. Oh. A lot of sand. So we're in some kind of de- Ooh, what's that? We're in some sort of desert with a fancy necklace. Sure there's a lot of moaning going on. The graphics are beautiful in this game though. I gotta give him that. And he's passed out. Okay, so... Is this where it starts us off at? No dialogue, nothing, just a guy going through the desert. Okay. Oh, loading screen, alright. So let's uh, see what we're... I guess what the first thing is we gotta do. I guess wake up would be a very good start. Alright, can I move yet? Oh, hey, there we go. Uh... Seeing as how there's nothing but desert behind us, I guess we have to go this way. Uh, move the mouse gamepad right stick or look to BSD. Okay. Walking. Can we sprint? Oh, hey, yeah, you can sprint. Left shift. Space bar to jump. Uh, ooh, hang on. Oh, oh. Did I just mess up? No, I didn't. All right, so we got to get up there. Jump and jump and jump. That was easy. Uh, do we ever run out of, like, stamina, or can we just run forever? Lift, okay, it's telling me how to run now. <laughs> wow, we have no stamina. Oh, what's this? Oh, here we go. Found something. I'm assuming we we would have to go into the, the only structure that I've seen so far. So let's see. Anything... I hope there's nothing in here that could kill us, because I can't cast any spells yet. I don't think I have any. Uh, ooh. To examine an inscription, look at it closely and press E or Gamepad X. An inscription. Where's the inscription at? Oh, wait. Is it... Oh, is it this? Oh, it is! Oh, okay. I see. So this must be the first puzzle. So we got to activate all of these. Oh, hey! So where's the other ones at? Right over here. I guess I might as well just go around in a circle. Get this one. Two more, I think. This one. And this should be the last one. Hey, there we go. 
All right, that wasn't too hard of a puzzle. Your journal has been updated. Press J to look at your journal. The Mahakai language, Mahakai language. I spent years studying the idiom known as the Makai, Mahakai, which means the language of the creative deities, yet I had only scratched the surface. Although I had examined numerous artifacts that reported scriptures in this language coming from places even very far from each other, I was able to interpret only a few fragments. Now in the entrance hall of this temple, whose existence was not even a certainty, something happened. Now I have a total understanding of the Mahakai. In the past, I did not believe in the legends, but there is power in these written characters. Uh, do I scroll down? Hope that's it. Okay. Uh, J when you're done? Okay. Guess let's go inside the temple. Oh, whoa. A little bit of lag right there. Oh, now we screwed. Fantastic. Look at the graphics in this game. For paying only seven bucks, it's not really bad at all. It looks sort of like, whoa. It looks sort of like uh, Skyrim almost. Actually, with a little bit better graphics than Skyrim, probably. Unless you modded it, like, out the ass. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Stand inside the Circle of Remembrance to save the game. I'm... This must be the Circle of Remembrance? Yep. Alright, so let's, uh... New save game. Can we rename it? Uh... I guess just hit OK. Uh, insert name. Ah, there we go. Uh, let's see. Let's just name it. Let's play okay there we go all right so what's this so uh, damn that looks exactly like what was on our necklace maybe that might be wait no they got two things no yeah they got a couple things that look exactly like what was on our necklace okay I wish where does where's the entrance at is this the entrance I don't even know okay well screw it let's just go ahead and head on into the temple um, it feels weird not trying to look for things to pick up like in Skyrim because this does. Ooh, can I pick? That's a badass looking mushroom. Holy shit. Alright. Damn. A lot of walking go going on. Oh. A lot of walking. Oh, wait, I could run. I forgot about that. I figured if someone's going to attack us, I might as well just run right into it. Can't really avoid it. Uh, anything in this? Oh, wait, hang on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um. Oh, I hear something. What's this? That's a creepy sounding noise. So let's, let, let's, let's see what's making that noise. Whoa. Whoa, what is this? I don't know what it is. I can't click on it or anything. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm hoping that I won't get lost. Oh, oh, oh! There's that noise again. Oh shit! It's getting louder. Oh, it's just flames. Uh. Wow. I want to just stop and look at everything because it's just so pretty. Holy shit. Um, okay, what a, what a... Ooh, inscription. Light. The light is not an enemy of the darkness. Quite the contrary, it is... It is... It's complementary. A sister praised too much in the past. The world is based on this lie. The belief that the light necessarily... Necessarily represent the good that is opposed to the shadows and bans them. The balance between the two has always been in favor of blazing bright part of the creation, but no one has ever realized the importance of equality between them. Light and shadow are the same entity, the same essence pervading the cosmos. When one of the two prevails, change is inevitable. Nothing remains equal to itself over time, and the metamorphosis does not always lead to the order or chaos. Hmm. It can feel it. I can feel it, the dazzling power of light coming out of my hand, an absolute sense of grace radiated from my hand after I said, Lume Tail, Lume, Lume Tail, Lume Tail, for the first time, and the darkness knelt before me. 
Alright, so let's exit out of here because it's telling us something. You can you just learnt a spell. Its formula has been noted in your journal. To cast a spell, press and hold the left mouse button or gamepad, and then release then release the button to end the spell press a uh, okay so you hold this um wait hang on let's see what so what is it called uh, how do i need to say it why does it say that i guess lume tial lume tial oh it says it that's awesome okay let's see if we can do it j lume tial lume tial You just learned a spell. Its formula has been noted in your journal. To cast a spell, press and hold the left mouse button. Pronounce the formula, then release the button. To end the spell, uh, can I even cast it right now? Lume Tial. Uh, maybe I can't cast it right now, I guess. Or do I have to cast it on this? Lume Tial. I did it! Oh! End. Oh wait. Hang on. Lume TL. What do I need to do now? Do I go around this? What's behind it? A lot of shiny rocks. Okay, so I, okay, maybe I just had to look at it to activate. To activate it. All right. So let's see. Uh, I guess let's go back the other way. That's pretty cool, though. <laughs> And it actually picked up my voice pretty good. So that's a plus. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's that little thingy again. Oh, maybe now that I have the light spell, I could do do something? Okay, I guess it got rid of my spell. Okay, wait, so let me see if I can cast it again. Lume Tial. Okay, I can. Alright. Alright, so... I'm not sure what I, I have a feeling like that little pillar that just ca canceled my spell is for something, but I just don't know what. So let's keep going in here. I want to learn like a like a damaging spell of some kinds. Oh, what is this? Books? Can I learn a spell from any of these books? Can I click on anything? No. Uh. Whoa! Jump. Okay, I guess I can't go right here. Nope. Can't fa can't pass right there. Um, can I look at any of this? Nothing, nothing. Lume Tiel. Oh, this helps a little bit. I can make my hand jump up and down. <laughs> um, oh, there we go. Genesis 1. Holy crap, this is a lot of reading. I tell you what, I won't read all of this. I'll just. Leave it on the screen for a little while for you guys so you could go back and read it. Because uh, I'm not a big fan of reading a whole bunch. So, uh, yeah, you guys just pause it. And whenever you're done, uh, press play again. So let's get rid of that. Ooh, did I just learn something? Maybe I ought to actually read it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Can I read it again? Oh, no, I can't read it again. Um... Let me look at my journal, see if I just got something. Oh, there we go. In the beginning, there was chaos. With the passing of the era chaos, with the eras, chaos aggressed, aggregated into a single physical mass. Other aeons passed, and the, God, these big words, agglomeration took on a conscience. In each moment of its existence, it would scrutinize the entire infinite space, and so far, and so far a time, it was immense. And so far a time, it was immense? Okay. Then it saw the in the universe the birth of something that remotely reminded it of itself. An intelligent life was born, and that was followed by many others in the same the same but different, all sharing the ability to consciously change the world that surrounded them. So its attention shifted from the observing endlessly from observing endlessly the birth of powerless pieces of the universe to prying greedily greedily into the lives of these beings. But one day something disturbing happened. These living entities began to worship something undefined that they had never seen, heard, or perceived, which was, in their opinion, omniscient and omnipotent. The names attributed by them were the most diverse, but it was obvious to chaos that the being was himself, since there was nobody else in the infinite remotely comparable to him. Hmm. All right. So yeah, I'll go ahead and read it, 
you if you want to hear me read it you can you could pause it and read it yourself and then just skip me do whatever you guys want for that part <laughs> um so where do i go now um uh, okay maybe i gotta go back oh let's go back to that little pillar thingy this thingy uh let's see what happens if i cast that spell standing next to it lume tiel lume tiel <laughs> No, I just said screw you. Okay. So let's maybe head back over here. Oh, the light. Lume TL. Will it open it? Will it open? Maybe? No? Um. Hmm. Does it open when it cancels this? No, it doesn't. Huh. Okay, so back here was that book. Was there anything else? Uh, Lume Tiel. Lume Tiel. Okay, I can't say it too fast or I kind of won't recognize it. I feel like I'm missing something right here. Oh, well, there's nothing else that I could click on. Oh, why is there a little circle of rocks right here? Probably for fun. Mm, never mind. Uh, okay. Let's try in this direction, see what they got. Whoa. Oh, okay. This is obviously where I needed to go. This is why I needed a light spell. Alright. Let's try to not fall. Oh, damn. Uh, let's go this way. <laughs> It's so whoa. Alright, we got it. Alright, let's see what we got over here now. Oh wait, what was that? It just I saw something in the bottom left corner pop up. Or at least I thought I did. And whoa. Holy crap. This game is so beautiful. Oh, all right. Let's uh, run down. So so far we haven't ran into anything that can kill us. I see we have a health bar at the top right hand corner. So there definitely has to be stuff that can like do damage to us. Oh, another save uh, thingy, save circle. There we go. Alright, so let me save it right here. Okay, okay. Alright. Yeah, let's keep going down. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, I gotta jump on this? Does it come back up? Oh, shit, 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 shit! I got it! And run and jump! Oh, this one's going to be tricky. Okay, let me watch the pattern to see how it moves. Okay, so it goes way up. And this one goes way up. And run and jump! And run and jump! Oh, we got it. Awesome. So what is this one? The beam of light. When the light arises, the darkness feels it. Contrary to what you might think, she does not flee, but rather seeks it. When the dazzling sprout flows from your hand, don't you hear someone approaching? Your shoulders do not suddenly become heavy as if something was upon you? The darkness is not afraid. She has no reason to be because she yearns to meet her sister light. The meat soaked with darkness can be blinded, but the darkness will never fear. When you make yourself Lord of the Light, remember that the shadows will guide you with the hand, as long as your life does not leave you, and you feel them feast on your soul. Aren't you happy? Your sister, you're, you are our sister too now. What I know just now is that saying, Ectolume, Ectolume, is enough to cast a ray of pure light from my hand, as a hint... As a hint on now on how its energy can be used, the inscription stated enigmatically that the right color feeds the right mechanism. Ah, okay, so... Ectolume. Ectolume. Alright. Let's try this one out. Ectolume. 
Oh, we've got to end this one probably. Let's see if this works. Ecto Lume. Ooh, damn. Oh, that's to open the gate. Okay, so... Uh, how do we get back? Do I actually have to hop all the way back on these things? I don't think this thing goes down far enough for me to hop on. Oh, yeah, it might. Hang on, let's see. Uh, uh, ooh, okay, it does. All right, so we got to make our way all the way back. Oh, oh yeah. Jump. No, too far. Ooh, that was close. Okay. Come on, go all the way up and run and jump. All right, we got it. So let's save it again, just so we don't have to hop over those things again if I die. Let's play. Okay. Okay. All right. So first thing that I learned so far from this first episode, there's a lot of running that takes place. So I'm probably going to skip a little bit of the running during the editing process, just like I'm doing right now. I'll probably skip a little bit of it. And another thing is there's a lot of reading. So I, I didn't get me anything to drink. So my mouth is ex insanely dry right now. Uh, yeah, this is where we came out of. So I need to remember next time I play this to uh, get... There's that thing that just popped up in the corner again. Anyway, so I need to remember to get me something to drink next time I play this. So let's... Oh, hang on. Uh, I forgot what what the name of the uh, the other light spell was. Where's my other one? Uh, light Lumetial. Oh, yeah. Lumetial. Yeehaw! Alright, let's see if we can not die on our journey back towards the gate. Yeah. I bet they got people that could like sprint over this thing. Alright. Wasn't too bad the second time. Uh, wait, where's that little... I wanna... Oh, okay, there's the gate, but I wanna see if casting a beam of light on this does anything. <laughs> Uh, can't remember the other one either. Uh, Ecto Lume. Ecto Lume. Nope, doesn't let me do that either. Alright. And, moment of truth. Ecto Lume. Ecto Lume. It worked! Alright. Get rid of that. So I guess I'll call the first episode there, guys. I hope you are... Is it closing on me already? Yep. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed, uh... The first episode let me know what you think about it so far i think i might actually like this game it doesn't seem like too too hard of a puzzle game so maybe i could get into this so if you did enjoy it remember to leave a like and subscribe if you didn't thumbs it down let me know what i could do to improve so you can enjoy your stay on my channel a little bit more and i'll see you guys uh next episode <laughs> peace